Hi. Sabres are rattling on the Ukrainian-Russian border, or more like columns of tanks rumbling and massing. It's a serious situation could escalate through sheer accident into deadly conflict. European Armageddon. Here in the Western world, there's a tremendous post-Cold War hangover. The Whitehall bureaucracy, secret services, military media are steadfastly anti-Russian. Despite the disintegration of the Soviet states into component parts, Russia itself remains a major military power. A weakening Western world doesn't want confrontation with Putin's Russia, but the UK, having left the EU, still clings on to its imperial past, in reality being the yapping lapdog of the US superpower. The UK is supplying Ukraine with anti-tank equipment instructors, with empty threats being issued by our government. Think of how helpless the UK were to do any kind of retaliation for the Salisbury poisonings. Yet the rhetoric from Number 10 is being ratcheted up by Johnson and Co. But it's a phony war. Russian oligarchs, intertwined with their state, own huge tracts of property in London. London grad. A corrupt system is collaborating with this. It's all a sham. Johnson, List Trust, pretended to stand up to the Russian bear. Should hostilities erupt, we won't experience death and destruction. So our scum politicians continue to play dangerous games and spout sub to Chilean nonsense. One thing they haven't taken into consideration amid all their bluster is that Russia could retaliate and turn off our gas supply. What then? None of the consequences have been nutted out by the idiots who rule us. We anarcho malcontents, through to the majority of the population, must not become embroiled in state power games. No engagement with the ruling class politics and support for their wars. We must exercise extreme scepticism and hostility to any plans this government have over the forthcoming ferment in Eastern Europe. The UK government, state, are our true enemy. Bye.